I probably don't got much for y'all today. I'm about to go home and do my podcast. So, it's an FYI. The Nuggets had an eight-point lead heading into the fourth quarter. From your perspective, what were the most important things you guys did to flip that score? We got stops and we stopped fouling. Um, entire game, you know, we kept talking about it. Stop fouling, and I'm not sure how many free throws they had through three quarters, but sure it had to be somewhere in the 25, 26 free throws. So um, once we stopped fouling, was able to get the game at our pace. You know, it looked a lot more like games one through three as opposed to game four. Girl, what do you think uh, you got from, from Young Love here tonight? He was incredible. Um, both ends of the floor, big shots, big plays, uh, two huge threes. Um, he was absolutely incredible. He's, you know, he's worked very, very, very hard, um, and you know he's finally got his opportunity. He's taking advantage of it, and it's great to see. In a game like this, where there was so much, I mean, they were really physical at the start. You know, they're coming after you guys. It looked like this is the kind of game that's almost suited for Gary's game, just to kind of grind it up a little bit. It is. Um, you know, when you want to muck the game up, you know, we got guys like that that can uh, play that same brand of basketball. Gary was huge tonight, uh, but he's been that way for us all year. Remember when you're down eight points going into the fourth quarter, a lot of fans probably think, okay, oh, they're going to score to get back. But the defense really, as you said, is what changed it, isn't it? And, and what, what changed about the defense in the fourth quarter? Besides the, the following, it seemed like you guys just took the, the intensity to another level. Uh, I think we definitely took the intensity to another level. Um, not going to sit here and act like, act like our coaching staff wasn't incredible by going to that box and one. Uh, that really threw their rhythm off. And then, you know, once you get a team out of rhythm, you know, then you go to your, your man-to-man offense, and I mean your man-to-man defense, and, and you have a lot better chance than, than just guarding a team that has their rhythm. And so I thought that was uh, great by our coaching staff and, you know, guys focused and capitalized on it. No, I think, um, you know, in that third quarter, we went on a run, we cut it to one, and then they ended up pushing it back to eight. But we knew right there that we had game to traction. We had, to, um, we had the, the game at the pace we wanted to get it at. And then after that, all we needed to do was clean up the rebounds. And once we cleaned up the rebounds, uh, then we were able to get out and push the ball and, and get some easy stuff, get some cross matches. I just told him thank you for making me better. Uh, it's absolutely incredible to play against a guy like that. Um, <clears throat> incredible, incredible talent. Uh, just told him thank you for, for making me better. So it's an honor and a pleasure to play against someone so talented and so skilled. And, and you know, usually when you have guys that talented and that skilled, they're a little soft. He's far, far from soft. Uh, you know, he's an absolutely incredible player. You talked plenty about, you know, 82 game players, 16 game players. Um, when did you know this season, like, Gary Payton, second, like, that's a playoff player? Uh, I mean, early on in the season, you know, once he made the team uh, and, 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 and started imposing his will on games, you just knew, like, all right, that's a guy who's probably going to be on the floor during playoffs. And, and most importantly, the, the way he defends. Uh, you know, you, you need that defense uh, in, in the playoffs to, to, to stop guys, to muck the game up. Uh, get, he gets a lot of deflections. And so you just kind of knew early on once he, like I said, once he made the team and then really made his mark on this team and what he was going to bring to it, you kind of knew then that he would be one of those 16 game players. They had 14 offensive rebounds through the first three quarters, but none in the fourth. To you, like, what was the biggest difference? Is that just a size thing? Or? Uh, I mean, uh, the same size we had all game and all year we kind of had in the fourth quarter. Um, I think it's just a matter of guys taking taking on that challenge. You know, we had a lot of rebounds bouncing to, to the free throw line, and we weren't getting 50-50 balls. We knew going into that fourth quarter, if we were going to close this series out, we had to get the 50-50 balls, and we had to rebound. And we came up with just about all of them there in that uh, fourth quarter. This is your guys' like first playoff series win since 2019. Um, what, to do it with the guys that you won so much with, I mean, what does it mean for you guys to get this? Special. Um, 
like I said the other day, it, it feels a lot more familiar than the last two years felt. Um, you know, that's that's who, that's who we are. That's you know that's why we've had the success that we've had. You know, we know how to win um, games. We know how to win playoff games, and you know we put the work in. We trust in each other, and you know the results show in that. I think he's a lot stronger. Um, you know, when, when he's driving to the hole, uh, what teams used to do was try bump him off his path. You can't move him anymore. And so once he gets his head down and he wants to get to the rim, he's getting there. Uh, because you have to overreact to the shot. You know, if you're not pressed up and overreacting to the shot, then he shoots and good luck. Um, but, you know, once he put his head down and drive and he's committed to getting to the hole, he's strong enough to take those bumps and not get pushed off his path. Steve said you guys had to get back to being you guys, get back to being us. Uh, what, what did that mean to you? Uh, stop turning the ball over, defend without fouling. Uh, you know, we, we, that was some of the keys to the season when we came into the year, uh, defend without fouling and cut our turnovers back. Ten turnovers, um, <clears throat> we didn't quite defend without fouling, but we did when it mattered most, and that was what was most important.